Hi, I'm Kevron Reese and I'm going to walk you through a Linux ICE installation. First, I'll sh tell you what you need. You need a USB stick, a mouse, a keyboard, and a system of some sort, preferably with touchscreen. This is my bench setup. Uh, let's go to Z uh, Zotac motherboard. Um, and you'll need, uh, of course, a regular PC that you can download the image onto. All right. First, we're going to insert our DV or our USB stick into our USB hub. Okay. Then on Ubuntu, there is an application called USB. Or if you can see that USB image creator. Basically, we select our. ISO that we've downloaded from the Linux ICE website. Um, so I'll select one of these images. I'll download the latest daily image. And we will select our USB stick, which is, is this a 4 gig stick. And we'll hit make startup disk. I've already done it, so we'll take this startup disk and we will plug it into our system real quickly here okay and we will boot up well, of course you want to hit delete so we enter into the the setup for the motherboard, we want to tell it to boot to our. Oh, apparently it hasn't detected our card yet. We will tell it to boot to the USB stick, and we will save and exit. All right, should boot up the Linux ICE right now, and uh, we'll come back when it's fully booted. Okay, here we are in Linux ICE. It's booted up now. Um, one thing you'll know is there's no touch screen, so that's why we have the mouse plugged in. We, I will be updating this prior to install, so I do have internet. You can either connect via Wi-Fi or how I have done via wired. And then to install, we're going to go to apps, install, or rather apps setup and then install. I've already got it running. It's going to ask you a few questions which you just click forward through. It's going to ask you your your language and your time zone and whatnot. Uh, you're going to get to this part. Um, you can either do an automatic partitioning and format of your drive or uh, custom which is what I've done. I've manually set up my partitions and I'm, I'm going to do it for speed. I'm going to put my boot uh, partition on ext2 and root on ext4 and that should give me significant speed boost over uh, what I'd have normally if I just let it automatically do go. So we're going to set up our name, give it just some stupid password, set our car PC, forward, and continue. And the next screen we will tell it to install. There we go, install, and uh, it'll just go. We'll come back when it's installed. All right, we have completed the installation and it's prompting us to restart. So we're gonna restart to our newly installed system. We'll be... All right, we're, uh, I pulled out the USB stick and uh, we're booting up. Um, it's going to prompt us for our login. So this is kind of weird because in a car we're not expecting you to have a keyboard. So we'll show you how to get the touchscreen working and this working. We still have our mouse plugged in. So let's go to, it's telling us we have most networks. We'll go to setup again. This time we're going to run the ICE configuration utility. Type in the password we gave it during setup. Type in our username, which just is K. Oh, finished. All right. Um.
Um, that's that. We'll go back and we'll go to Ice Touch. Um, We're going to manually set this up. Okay, yes, Ice Touch will bring us to this prompt. Um, we will say we want the USB touch screen. Uh, we have a USB touch screen. And now we're done. Exit, exit all that fun. Now we're going to reboot, and it should do auto login. Our touch screen should be uh, willing to run, and we should be good to go. Let's see. You can also time uh, how fast this boots. Uh, we'll, we'll show the whole thing. So, shows the Zotac. There's about a five second delay here, which you can remove. Just gonna start up the kernel, load up the kernel. So, about 20 seconds, not too bad. Um, Touchscreen is working, there's no calibration, so we're going to go calibrate it. Oh, this is our web browser, by the way. Carbon, very cool. Uh, apps, ice, run ice touch again. And run our four point calibration. Touch our points. Okay, and we're done. We have touch screen now. Close. So that's pretty much how you install um, Linux Ice. It's fairly simple. Um, takes about 10 minutes. Yes, that's it. Um, if you have any questions, of course, there's the MP3 Cart Forum and the OpenEyes Forum. Um, thanks for watching.